All right, all right, guys. Phil Buster here. Episode nine, my Total War Attila legendary Frankish campaign. We just fought that epic battle, at the end of the last fight. So we're getting uh, the heads up that he's dead. Ready for orders. He did take some heavy Order casualties. Um, can I hire a catapult? I cannot. That's unfortunate. So we will have to siege for one turn. I'm more than happy to do. Back him up there. We'll send this guy back. We do not need him, in fact. Rebellion down here. Still crippled. I definitely should have. Definitely should have waited. I can't assassinate now. See if I can do it. I will see them in the dark. Nope, failed in their mission. Oh well, some good experience. Um The goddess blesses you. How can I help? Time to see I what Burgundians have. The earth will guide my feet. I do kinda wanna take Anglos right after this. not putting that governor in there because I'm not really sure about the integrity of my settlements just yet. Don't want anyone getting killed unnecessarily. Really glad these Huns haven't haven't come back over here. I'm not sure where they're at. I'll probably check the diplomacy screen at the start of the next one to see. They definitely have the ability to really ruin my uh, game plan here. Romans are still kicking it. Fighting in North Africa. I mean, I feel like their priest should have something better to do. I'm gonna definitely use this assassinate on him. I mean, they they got no small small army here. Wonder just if they would be able to expand out. Like I don't know what the AI tells it to do after it starts losing ground. They've preached a tomb to my men. Rebellion imminent. Scooby's rival has spread false rumors about a member of your family. Give the order and they will be silenced. Yeah, pay them off, dude. Well met. What do you wish of me? So I don't know if they've trained any more there, but definitely just gonna have to pony up the gold. Take this army here. Once again, I'm auto resolving because I don't really want to fight On the move, small lads. little skirmish battles unless I have to. Ready for battle. Forty, sixteen. It's good. Out. It's good. I could manage that. Be another rebellion here pretty soon, <laughs> and another rebellion here. Actually, civil war here. Really got to get this civil war under control, which I'll hopefully do right here. This would be quite the slog, and I undoubtedly lose more troops than I would just doing it like this. to might as well loot and occupy we're about to hit rebellion anyway so we've taken tool fordham got a wood carver we got market stalls 
dismantle the stalls. We already got one of those. We actually don't need to... Huh. What do we actually do here? Move this guy to the metal because there's about to be a civil war and I'm not sure how big the force is going to be that's going to spawn. Um, we've got a level up here on our king. I think we want to get our king down to legend status. Anglos appears to be unprotected. Right. Be able to move my armies into these rebellious territories next turn. Ah, this is what I want to do. Come on. Assassinate this character. This is the enemy general. Enemy general. Enemy general. Faction destroyed. Oh. Nope. Failed the failed the assassination once again. So this guy's just wreaking havoc here. I think I'm gonna hold my gold for now, but you can see how much income it projected. Okay, and then I'm actually gonna keep my wood carver. This is very nice for me because the onagers will allow me to take these settlements really quickly. Burgundians are pretty huge. I'm definitely going to have to heal up before I go at them. And I will in fact need to recruit the spies. Forgot about this. Let's get the guy with some zeal. Direct army is really nice. So I've got two spies now where I'm going to uh, be able to scout. Decimate them then. Oh, phew, shit. I should have moved those guys back into the uh, capital. Santu. So I believe we are right on the precipice of greatness. Winning that battle at the end of the last episode um, to take that main settlement was huge. It was absolutely massive. Take a look at the diplomacy again. A to check where the Huns are. B to see what the Western Roman <laughs> power ranking is. Can't believe they're still just fighting. It's pretty awesome. I wonder if that Preach Doom is reducing the integrity. I'm not that familiar with the uh, abilities. Maybe that's how that guy's integrity got so low. Alright, back at it. Rebellion in Frisia. Okay, nice, he failed that time. Ooh, noble birth, that's what I'm talking about. Mission to destroy a Ro uh, Western Roman army, but I can't really do that right now. Rebellion imminent in Belgica. First thing first, I'm gonna garrison this guy. And... Can manipulate there. I actually just wanna scout with them. Keep trying to betray with my my priestess here. Come on, big place. Nope. Not that time, he says. Uh, 
Warriors all. Are you ready to do your duty to the tribe? Do that. Ready for battle. I think I want to move several of these guys over. Wow, nice. That's actually preventing preventing a rebellion right there. All right. Let's see the Burgundians. Have cooking. Uh, they, maybe they just expanded really far over. Yeah, see, they're at least over there. Wow. And the Western Romans. Second in power ranking behind, I bet, the Eastern Roman. Who I can't see right now. That is awesome that they're still the number two strength ranking. See, I'm only 17 here. Burgundians, see what they are. They're seven. The Jutes and the Gates are both my ally, though. I think once I heal these guys up, I'm going. Definitely going. Fact. Fight with us. It's a good life. Yeah. For the tribe. We're gonna accelerate the rate at which we can invade before they can prepare. The guy that I'll use to uh, defend here. Ready for order. I think we'll train Are two onagers. We'll probably need a spearman. Oh, we got the ranged here. What if I just go pikeman? Let this grow one more turn. We'll take it out. Billions here under check. I think I got my public order relatively controlled, as long as there's no big hiccups. Look at Gaul. I wonder what their strength ranking is. Yeah, so they actually are just my military ally, who I freed right at the beginning from the Western Romans, is a reliable strength ranking 8 military ally. Can I get another marriage? No, I can't get another marriage. I wonder if I can get a marriage. I can't with her. I can marry her off though. Let's get Mino into the family. Will your noble people let us into your lands? We seek Military access from, from the picks. I don't necessarily want to provoke a war with them. Not sure what they want military access for, but I'm thinking they don't want to provoke a war with me either. Here is your lot. Now oh. Oh, ravens, be oh, please just eager for our yes. yes. Boom. They have declared war on me. Poor, poor me. Whatever will I do? I think perhaps I will destroy all of them. Ah, that's so awesome. I don't even get the penalty. Like, I'm still just... Everyone's going to keep trading with me. This port at Flavum is just going to be making me so much money. 
I've got to develop my resources. I really need to like win this war relatively quickly. And then like really develop my resources. I think I should be able to start converting these buildings as well. It's been quite a few turns since I've taken them over. All the main settlement buildings. Ah, slowest agent ever. So the if the Rusians are still alive, and they might be a uh, horde force, but they could have a big province up there, which means these Burgundians might not be spread out as I think. <sighs> More agent. Rebellion imminent. Uh, soldier was drunk on the watch. And uh, we got a marriage. Nice. Alright, so I just got this daughter to marry off in seven years, and we're good to go. We'll flog him. Alright, so this is my son's army. No, it's not. I'm not sure where he went. Alright, so here's a big force. Oh my god. Can't get vision of it. What would you have of me? I will see. Impossible. Mark him on. I actually don't want to take this. For the tribe. Thirsty for battle. Ready for battle. Oh, is this for real? I couldn't tell. It looked like it was gonna take it through this old path. Hmm. Oh, these guys are totally gonna be able to. Ah, but that might be the cue for a counterattack, because I'll be able to withdraw ones back here out of their range, and then I can come in and swarm them. Which means that I gotta take care of this rebellion now. To battle. Yeah. I hate fighting rebellion, rebellion battles. Thirsty for battle. I want to get to like good, good battles. Ready for battle. Ooh, a large onager. 600 upkeep though. I want to get rid of that. It's quite a lot. We have a new tradition. So we got some replenishment and upkeep cost, and we our general has leveled up. So we will try to get him down to legend status as well. We've got two legendary generals here expanding our territory. This is kind of troubling. Not sure who owns that either. I uh, will. I guess I need to train. Actually, I think I definitely just need horse. And I'm good to go there. Wonder if we have a. Uh, Yeah, happiness. Let's go campaign movement range. I like that one. Construction costs ain't bad. Oh, p ah, nice. Public order and sanitation. Perfect. So I'm not sure if this will proc at the end of turn and affect the happiness before the rebellion forms or not. I am not sure. But converting it is only about 3k. So I'm going to really start to do that here. Still not going to hit the rebellion there. Uh, I think I'm good to go. Do I want to save? Is there something I could spend it on? I should probably repair this, shouldn't I? 
Governor, I will put him in Frisia then. Raymond. Yeah. McClue. We'll increase the public order. Actually, let's take a look at where our Germanic paganism spread is. Look at that. All throughout up here. Definitely pushing down against Latin Christianity. These provinces. Ah, Visontio. Gotta get my priest going there. That's where that one priest is, though, and he's just tearing me up. It's right down in here. This guy. Jesus. Spend my money. It's definitely worth it to, to cancel this. Come on, at least injure this guy. Give me a little break here. Oh, that's what I'm talking about right there. Critical success. Didn't even level up for it. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. So I think we got another big battle coming up here. This Burgundian stack. Let's see what they do here. Yep. There it is. There it is. Do I want to just fight this straight up? That is the question. Let's see, how arrogant would my king be? I think you'd stick to the stick to the play there. Finding shelter. I think that was a perfect bait. They don't know about that second stack. Ah, but they have a second stack. The downside of not having my scouts out there. I do have this third stack at Agrippina, and here's the. Huh. It's gonna be interesting. Man, I would just love so much if by the time I got myself established in the north, the Western Roman Empire was still going strong in the south and I was able to just fight stacks of legionnaires. That'd be so good. Rebellion in Belgica. Terms of office are done. Establish trade really <laughs> I don't think we're gonna establish trade relations with the Burgundians. Does not make sense. What we are gonna do is keep converting our populace. We're gonna upgrade our general. Bigs this army. This is the benefit of having the scouts right here. So you can see exactly what they got. It's actually a really nicely balanced army they got there. They only have one spearman though, and they got the rest levy. I think we have really just perfectly comparable armies. What's their, let's see what their garrison is. It's enough to make a difference. But I don't think they have enough to take to afford them. Garrison's still injured, but that shouldn't matter. 
wonder if I can I'm gonna try to bring him close enough to help without losing all my mo movement points and it's not gonna work huh It's quite interesting. Okay. This is what we're going to do. We're just going to move all of our armies to the north. These guys hopefully within reinforcement range, yes they are. So this will be one hell of a fight. I might actually just hire, who do I want to hire here? I think it's, this is the one I put the cavalry in. This is a fight right here. So we've got three onagers. Let's see what kind of terrain we're working with here. We've got quite a bit of cavalry. So we should be able to get to those onagers. So dry day. Oh. Uh, quite favorable terrain here. guys out once it starts. Is there attack range? Marching at us, cannot tell. I think they're going to want to wait for all of their forces to arrive as well. But I think I have the advantage regardless. Forward a bit there. 
wonder if their lines just forming directly across like this. Yeah. Laid the ambush on who? <laughs> Their morale is just, yeah, but it sucks being in a forest fire. Alright. Three cavalry units just did all of that. Give my army time to uh, regroup up here. guys on end around. I want to take this cavalry out. Or not the cavalry, the onagers. I'm going to wait on these cavalry. The lancers here to bring them back up from the side. The guys are moving forward and getting into position. Downside of using the compact lineup that I have is that their onager shots will be more effective. So, the guys are still hidden. Too slow. Nice. That's how it's done right there. Uh, 
battle stations. Puny cavalry are no match. Decimate all of their ranged units. Go, go, go. Get them. Levy, like the fact that they have Germanic Levy, and I have Germanic Spearman, is just making this battle so easy. Decisive 
victory right there, folks. Decisive. Took 950 good men to do it, but we got them. There it is. That's that that sort of a decisive battle right there is so good. As long as I can keep hold of my own province, I will uh, bring them in and replenish my own ranks with their uh, captured soldiers. And take Angelus. So, if you recall, I have a uh, oh, neck occupy, actually. Um, if you recall, I had lost my first two, uh, first two, uh, shall we say, uh, unsuccessful kings, but it is now passed to an adopted, I believe. Yeah, that's the yeah, adopted son, Thudamir, to uh, carry it on. He has two baby boys. Or a baby boy and a daughter. Look at this, though. Two sons, deceased and child, or in in uh, yeah, childhood and youth. It's unfortunate. Okay. So what upgrade do they want with my? Oh, we get better horses here. That's sick. Uh, what do we have? So we got the livestock herd. Don't need the other wood carver here. I uh, don't think we need. Yeah, we definitely don't need. Yeah. Don't need the sacred grove. We've got a half stack up in here. It's just three quarter stack. I'm actually occupying to afford them now. Yeah, I could just push forward with these guys. We'll take Rugian next turn as well. So I don't think I would have been able to with these guys all the way up here. I don't have anyone up here. I might just raise these territories. Is that the play? I think that's the play. The Rugians actually control that. I wonder if I can trade with them from there. No port, huh? Hmm. Oh well. I am now strength ranking 10, and they are 8. So we're catching up to them. Uh, okay, everyone's in position. Let's see what happens there. We should have another. Here we go. What would you have? Come around this way, come up here, I can bring this guy up here, next turn. Uh, we've got this rebellion here, we still need to handle. I think the way to do that is to bring another army. We've got plenty of empty army slots so we can use. The money is definitely going to be worth it, if it, worth it if it means we don't have to retake this region once again. Uh, we've got a couple of cheap mercenaries. Warband's okay. I don't need those brigands yet. Uh, and then we'll take the economic hit. Fasantio. Negative six, huh? We upgrade this food building. It's average fertility. Let's go with the goat herds. The governor has upgraded. Give him the siege mechanic since he's a governor. And there weren't any better options there. And the turn. Ah, 
so everything is falling into place now. Everything is definitely falling into place. I kind of counted myself lucky here that there haven't been any backstabbings. I think the fact that, uh, that I took the lead on the Western Romans and really just pushed them back, I think they, uh, I think the other factions, uh, respected, respected that quite a bit. Gaul is coming up to help. You have recruited so many units, yeah, the yeah, treasury yeah, yeah, yeah. is buckling under the weight Quiet. of their up. Rebellion and Frisia. Attrition. Ah, morale three, because I flogged the soldier. Apparently they like that. It's kinda weird, but it's whatever. Uh Let's repair these, they're cheap. We'll destroy this artisan building. How can I assist yeah, let's actually see. On the move. Okay, so this is them still. To to. Assuming that's them up there as well. Yeah, it is. Okay, so it is them up there. Um, wonder if this is them as well. Ah, so they have another stack back here. And so that's the extent of their empire. Wonder if I want to take it all. See if these guys are down there. For the tribe. They are ready for battle. Warriors all on the move, lads. We are encircling well them at Rougeon. This will actually cut off a little bit of their income. Perhaps. I think I keep this guy back. Thirsty for battle. Ready for orders. Yeah, this is hilarious. I'm gonna so I'm gonna move my guys here. But I think Gull is gonna kill him for me anyway. Since they're my military ally. That that'd be pretty awesome. Let's see, level up this priestess. Ready for yeah, I think orders. I'm good doing that. Ready for I'm not sure if they're going to have a strong enough force. I think Gaul's going to be able to do it regardless. I do have to keep my guys here and teleport them. Um, but what I can do is Ready for send my king to help here. Actually, want to take all of this up here. This will be my industrial center and economic center that will allow me to push further south. Um, I can't quite make it back there. We have here at Anglis. Nobody. Ready for battle. They're able to strike out there. I might as well just actually just 
raise raise another army there. I'm starting to spread out, so it might be helpful to have quite a few smaller smaller garrisons. And this will, in fact, allow me to keep pushing and putting mad pressure against the Burgundians. I mean, we're out in local region, immune to snow attrition. That's what I'm talking about. Should keep getting those. Okay, so they've got a big army here, a big army here. I'm not sure what up here. I can actually dismantle the goat bar barns for some extra gold. Don't need the military jetties either. Keep the chieftain's hall. Repair the village as well. take the rest of this territory down here. <laughs> I don't want to spend the money colonizing it. The time to convert everything when I can when they can do it all for me. I can just take it. That'd be so nice if I can do that. I mean we so we share the same background so uh, I don't have to like spend the time converting the building, money converting the buildings, the main buildings, or any of the other ones for that matter. Makes it a really attractive target to just take over. So I am doing it, and if I can keep doing this uninterrupted for a little bit, then it's gonna be in pretty good shape. Yeah, Gaul's doing it. See, that's a military ally for you, right? Oh no, they're not doing it. Oh, I guess they like moving them back a little bit. All right, so we're gonna actually stop the episode here. It's been a nice little skirmish fight to start the next episode out with. Got relatively healthy troops and you know a decent amount of them. So thank you guys for watching once again. Have a fun episode here. Uh, so uh, you know, like and subscribe if you will, and if not, catch you next time.